everyone in this video we will talk about principles of development so what is the first principles of development development is a continuous process it means what development is a continuous process from conception to death even maturity has been attained development does not end means development is a continuous process it starts from our mother womb and it continues till term even maturity has been it not stopped like growth what happened in case of growth when we become adult then growth stop growth stop at maturity level but development does not stop at maturity level it continues till death like we take some example like we take the example when we are in a prenatal stage what happened when we are inside our mother womb then also development continues like first our head develop then our heart this all development occur inside the mother womb after child what happened after prenatal stage child take birth then he looks like a child okay then after child child continues uh, in a development process then he become adult so what happen in case of growth growth stop at adult stage but development does not stop at adult stage it continues like it continues when we, we become old also development continues after old death happened and when death occur development stop so what is the meaning of development is a continuous process it means development start from prenatal stage and development stop after death okay this is a continuous process now we talk about second principles principles of development of direction it means what ki everything happen in a direction way like sequence way okay so development also occur in a sequence way like we see some child when child is very small he can he cannot grow at one night okay first what happened he first what he do he first do crapping then crawling then what happened standing and then walking and then running jumping means all thing is happening in a sequence way okay sequence way process so this is called uh, development occur in a direction way so principle of di development of direction is divided into two part what is that cephalo cadwell uh, sequence and next one is proximo cadwell uh, sequence so what is cephalo cadwell sequence now we see every human being develop from head to feet okay cephalo cadwell sequence is what in this every human being develop from head to feet the child gains control of the head first then arms and then the leg what happened ki child first develop what head okay first child develop head then arms and then leg but this is not happen in case of infant what happen infant first develop their head then face after that he started crapping crawl crapping then crawling then walking standing this all occur after that so this is the difference between child and infant so cephalo cadwell sequence is what ki development starts from head to feet okay this is cephalo cadwell sequence now we talk about proximo distal sequence what is proximo distal sequence development occurs from central portion of the body to outer parts what is the meaning of this like we see our hand what happened first our elbow okay elbow will uh, means grow then our finger means growth started from central portion to outer like first our spinal cord will uh, develop then heart and then all parts of the body so development starts from inner part central part and then outer part like we take the example of a small child also what in case uh, what in case of a small child ki when he is very small he has milk teeth okay so first milk teeth appear where central and then side and then in all 
पोजिशन आई मीन आउटर साइड ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड प्रोक्सीमो डिस्टेंस इक्वेंस की सेंट्रल पोर्शन टू आउटवर्ड पोर्शन एंड सिफेलो कॉर्डल इज वॉट हेड टू टो तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ सिफेलो एंड प्रोक्सीमो एंड दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डायरेक्शन ओके दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट Now we talk about third principle. What is the third principle? Principle of individual difference. We know that individual every each and every child is different from each other. Okay, no one is unique. Means, sorry, each and every child is different from each other. Every child is unique in its character. Like we see in our classroom also, ki some child is. talented and some child is very uh, weak and some child is gifted and some child is average no child is in the same talent same talent is not present in every child so this is called principle of individual difference like we see a small child also some child walk at 10 month okay and some child walk at 18 uh, months so what is this this is called difference this is called principle of individual difference because at same stage they means they are different okay but uh, even though twin also twin also there must be some individual difference present so this is called principle of individual difference that every person is different from each other variation must be present present in every person and why this individual difference occur inside the human body because of heredity and environment this is the main cause of principle of individual difference so what is heredity heredity is what is a transmission of character from parents to offspring what happens some ca- some character transfer from parents to offspring so this is this character develop individual difference inside the child so this is called individual difference and environmental factor play a very important role in developing the individual difference so this is the third principles of development now we talk about fourth principle principle of maturation and learning so what is this principle said if a child is keen to learn something but lacks maturation then he will not be able to learn it what is the meaning of this means it means that every child means learn when he mature what happen if we take the example of a small child like two years uh, old baby want to learn uh, want to learn painting so he is so if he is able to learn no no because he is not mature and if we thought that uh, seven years child want to learn what some language fluently he speak language fluently so it is possible no because he not reach at maturity level so maturity level uh, means affects learning so this is called principle of maturation and learning because without maturation and learning means uh, it is not able that maturation and learning is very important and development continues when there is maturation also and there is learning also okay so this is the fourth principle of uh, uh, development now we talk about fifth principle that is development proceeds from general to specific what is the meaning of this general to specific means young children see only the whole until they are matured in enough to be able to focus on the parts of the whole okay? okay like we see what happen in general to specific when uh, we take the ex- example of a small child like we give some apple uh, to child what happen that a child hold that apple from both hands okay so after some time when he become uh, adult yeah he, he become big what happen he is able to hold that apple from his one hand so first uh, he is able to hold that apple from both hand so that is called general and when he is able to attain the, that apple from one hand that is called specific so development proceeds from general to specific okay like we see uh, in child also child firstly uh, move his hand okay anything he catches from 
whole hand but after time sometime like if you uh, give a spoon to child child hold that spoon from whole of its hand but after some time he is able to hold the spoon from uh, his finger so this is called development proceeds from general to specific okay understood now my topic is completed thank you